Welcome to a new video where we review one of the most prominent books in the field of self-development and spiritual awareness, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. This book serves as an inspiring guide to achieving self-awareness and connecting with the present moment. Throughout its pages, Tolle explores how we can overcome the pain caused by constant thoughts about the past and future and how living in the present moment can provide us with a true sense of inner peace. In this book, Eckhart Tolle offers practical tools and valuable advice that help us understand the nature of the mind and the ego and enhance our ability to live in a state of full awareness. By exploring concepts like presence, the inner body, and freedom from pain, we can begin our journey towards a more peaceful and happy life. Chapter 1 you are not your mind. In this chapter, Eckhart Tolle introduces a fundamental idea. Most people spend their lives under the control of their minds, but in reality, they are not their minds. The mind is a useful tool, but it becomes problematic when we cannot stop it. Many of us live in a state of constant thinking, anxiety, and fear as a result of clinging to the past or worrying about the future. Toller points out that the key to inner peace lies in detaching from our minds and stopping identifying ourselves with our thoughts. By observing the mind from a distance, we can recognize that these thoughts are not who we are but simply mental activities we notice. This distance gives us the ability to live in the present moment without being hostage to negative thoughts. The author presents the concept of awareness, being fully aware of the present moment without judgment or attempts to analyze. This awareness is what can grant us a state of inner peace and free us from the control of the mind. The real challenge, as Toller explains, is that many people do not know how to separate themselves from their minds. They believe that everything in their minds is their truth, while in reality, the mind is just a tool we use. When we realize that thoughts are only a part of consciousness and not the entirety of it, we begin to experience freedom. Tolle also asserts that suffering arises when we live in the mind instead of the present. Overthinking and attachment to the past or anxiety about the future create unnecessary pain, and the way to get rid of this pain is to immerse ourselves in the present moment, in the power of now. At the end of the chapter, Tolle invites the reader to experiment by observing their thoughts and noticing how they move through the mind without becoming immersed in them simply by being silent observers. Chapter 2. Awareness, the path to freedom. In this chapter, Eckhart Tolle explains that true awareness is the foundation for achieving inner freedom and peace. He links feelings of pain and inner conflict to over-identification with the mind. Tolle believes that much of our suffering comes from our inability to detach from negative thought patterns. The mind manipulates us, placing us in a cycle of anxiety and fear due to its attachment to the past and expectations of the future. One important concept that the author introduces is the pain body, which is an accumulation of negative emotions within us resulting from past experiences. This emotional body, according to Toller, controls our actions and reactions without us even realizing it, its presence prevents us from living freely in the present moment. However, the solution Tola offers is to enter a state of awareness. This state means being fully present in the moment we live, free from the influence of the mind or past emotions. When we are aware, we become capable of observing our thoughts and emotions from a distance. This distance gives us the freedom to decide how we act, rather than being automatic victims of our emotions. The author then discusses the idea of letting go of the ego. The ego, or false sense of self, is what causes us to cling to pain and anxiety. The ego, Toller says, builds itself on suffering and the desire to control others. However, once we realize that the ego is not who we truly are, we can let go of its control. The goal, as Toller describes, is to live each moment fully present and to accept life as it is. True life happens only in the now. When we free ourselves from the mind and ego, we become able to interact with the world freely and peacefully. 
At the end of the chapter, Tolo encourages practicing mindfulness regularly, whether through breath observation or noticing the senses, as a way to train the mind to stop holding on to the past or worrying about the future, and instead, live in the present moment with full awareness. Chapter 3 Freedom from Psychological Time In this chapter, Eckhart Tolle discusses one of the fundamental concepts of the book, which is psychological time, our attachment to the past and future, on the level of thoughts and emotions. Tolle believes that most people live their lives immersed in psychological time, preventing them from enjoying the present. Psychological time is the main source of anxiety, fear, and stress, because it keeps us constantly thinking about what happened in the past or what might happen in the future. Toller asserts that freeing ourselves from psychological time is the fundamental step towards achieving inner peace. To do this, we must live each moment as it is, without carrying the burden of the past or worrying about the future. Toller explains that many people live their lives as if they are in a constant race towards something, unable to stop and enjoy what they have now. Consequently, psychological time prevents us from seeing the beauty and opportunities in the present moment. He also explains that continuous thinking about the future, whether with positive or negative expectations, is a form of escaping the present. Whether we fear something or long for something, we are avoiding living in the current moment. Even future success cannot bring happiness if we do not know how to be present now. A central theme in this chapter is the difference between clock time and psychological time. Toller clarifies that clock time, such as scheduling appointments or planning future activities, is perfectly fine as it is part of daily life. The problem lies in psychological time, which involves living in the illusion of the past and future at the expense of the present moment. The solution that Toller presents is complete awareness of the present. When we focus on what is happening now, and avoid drowning in our thoughts about psychological time, we begin to free ourselves from much of the suffering. The author recommends practicing this awareness through deep breathing, observing the senses, and paying attention to everything happening around us. In conclusion, Toller emphasizes that the power of now lies in its ability to free us from pain and anxiety, and that life becomes easier and more beautiful when we live each moment in its entirety. Chapter 4. The Mind's Strategies to Avoid the Present Moment In this chapter, Eckhart Tolle focuses on how the mind uses different strategies to keep us away from the present moment. The mind relies on fear, anxiety, and confusion to divert us from the now. Tolle believes that the mind thrives in an environment of psychological time, where it attaches to the past or the future and relies on constant internal stories that make us live in a state of separation from the present. He explains that the ego, which is formed through these mental strategies, defines itself through external things, achievements, and personal perceptions. The more we attach to the ego's thoughts, the more we suffer. The ego creates false needs and continues to chase temporary happiness that depends on external circumstances, thereby preventing us from experiencing the peace that we can achieve only in the present. The mind is also a source of negative emotions related to over-analysis and constant doubts, as mental patterns repeat automatically without our awareness. Toller points out that by paying continuous attention to the mind without engaging with these thoughts, we can weaken their impact, gradually freeing ourselves from the control of the mind and ego. One concept Toller discusses in this chapter is conscious surrender. This is not a form of defeatism, but rather a complete acceptance of the present moment as it is, without internal resistance. When we accept what is happening now in all its details, we become free from the tension created by the mind through resisting reality or thinking about what should have been. Surrendering to the present is the path to inner peace. The author explains that the pain and suffering we feel in daily life are not due to external circumstances as much as they are due to the constant thinking that refuses to accept the present. While many believe that the solution lies in changing circumstances, 
Toller asserts that the solution lies in changing our awareness of the present, avoiding immersion in the negative thoughts and emotions triggered by the mind. In conclusion, Toller offers practical advice to avoid falling into the mind's trap, such as observing thoughts without interacting with them and practicing full presence in the moment through deep breathing and paying attention to the senses. Through these practices, we can overcome the mind's strategies and enjoy the peace of the present moment.